Hey everyone. So I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, to be honest. And this video is just going to be about uh, how my journey is with Halo and such, like you know, from start to finish, somewhat, and then uh, somewhat of you know, discuss like little rants about you know things I've seen in the past with the new Halo game and. Then, Hearing about leaks, rumors, this and that, and what I've read or do. And then, you know, and then say how good, like, a lot of these games are, to be honest. So, how did my journey begin was back when I was growing up, actually, when uh, Halo first started back in CE days. So, that was about 2000s, right there. I was like five, I think. And, you know, Halo has been my thing ever since when I was first playing. I did first play CE just on PC, though, the demo. But then I played, but when my first Halo game I had was Halo 2, and I, that became my childhood of playing the whole game. And I never played online until a few years ago to actually have my very first time playing Xbox Live matches. And, you know, a lot of good stuff actually that happened. But... Yeah, and then, you know, I became I became really good playing multiplayer for Halo 3 in the original. Then Reach, I was really good in Reach. Same with 4, but ever since I took a break from it and such. And then, of course, when I got MCC too, took a break from it. And for a bit, and then I was all rusty as heck. Then there was Halo 5. I did play Halo 5 before I got MCC. And then there was Halo Wars 2. I did play that. I did play the first one as well. As all those games are good. It's just that there was things I didn't like to myself. Like Halo 5, I didn't like. I liked the idea first, and that was aim down sights. But then I just got annoyed for a lot of the guns that had aim down sights over time. That was being the assault rifle, the standard version. Uh, there was many weapons I, I just did not like having aim down sights, including swords and hammers. Ugh, it's just so ridiculous. Like you need an aim down sight really for swords and hammers really like why not just keep it the OG style originally but then of course I hated the fact with in multiplayer apparently your shields don't recharge for when you sprint when you're already taking damage and I think it also slows you down in sprint too for when you get shot at but but then there's a campaign in Halo 5 where your shields do recharge when you're sprinting like, yeah, if you're already getting hit, and you're sprinting away. I was like, it's kind of stupid, to be honest. But, um, because Halo 4 has it where you're, you're shot at, you're, you slew, you're really slow down your speed, like, severe. Unless you got that one perk ability, then you're fine. But, otherwise, you know, it's kind of stupid, to be honest, there. And then when Reach introduced it, there was no restrictions to it actually. Probably maybe like slow down, could be wrong. But, but a lot of them were balanced to be honest. And the only time I use sprint to run away is if I'm getting hit from behind. You know, and I just got done in a gunfight mainly. Or I just got surprised and want to sprint away for a second, turn around, expect them to come around right that corner unless they come right through a different path that's right next to me and kills me. Ugh. But yeah, and then, you know, I got a lot of good moments in all the Halos, mainly the ones with co-op involved. There's a lot of good moments, especially split screen. My one favorite one is where me and my sister was playing, uh, I think it was Anniversary of CE on the 360. I think we're playing the Anniversary graphics. If not, we're just playing the old, the old school style graphics. But I told her, like, hey, just shoot the tank cannon right there like it won't hit me ding dong me not realizing how big i forgot how big the uh radius is for the blast oh it got me it got me all right i was driving a warthog <laughs> i was on i was the outside of the radius and i thought i was severely outside of it nope i was in, still inside it and it killed me <laughs> uh, that was fun but that that's a lot of my journey and then of course playing with really great people like in the original Halos on 360s and then going to the Xbox version of the ones being with you know I'll name a few of them 
being uh, Roomscape Plays, uh, which is game. That's his YouTube cha name, but his gamer tag is like Roomscape101. And then we have uh, Spirit Hawk. She's a really good player. Then Lady Hawk. She's a good one as well. Still, she's still learning a lot of ropes that I'm trying to teach her in the game. Uh, then we got a uh, heck. We got a good amount of their friends. Like there, there's so many I can't recall other than ones I've been playing Halo lately with, and a little bit of times I play with uh, someone named Death. And there's a few others. You know, and I love playing with really good players that knows tactics. The only thing I hate is playing with randoms and we're playing like invasion and I'm trying to be sneaky or like any certain objective modes. And I really want to sneak because there's a neat trick to stay off radar is just crouch. You know, that's what I used to do and I, I always learned that tactic to use that. But then I get a lot of randoms that spawn on me and such and they ruin my tactics because they'll just run right past me. Like, come on or move already. I'm like, no, I'm going crouch style. And I hate the fact of, you know, in MCC now, there's team killing happening in CE uh, matches on purpose, you know. And the one thing I kind of dislike with that system, too, with, you know, betraying, like, I accidentally betray people because they either spawn right in front of me, I got, I can't, I have no control of this, to be honest, and I instant kill them by accident because they spawned right in front of me. This actually happened to me last night of a match. To where I ended up had to wait to respawn for like 30 dang seconds because of a couple times accidentally killing teammates with a dang warthog because the simple fact is um that you know it's it wasn't my fault they just spawned right there and I just started moving with the warthog but oh well and then I hate teammates that are automatically just blowing up friendly vehicles meaning there's no enemies right around them at all they're driving that vehicle you know or they just got in I really hate those type of players and it'd be nice if there's a vote kick option and only use it if it's legitimately happening and if players that ain't doing this on purpose and they're doing this on accident they'll admit it they're not doing it on accident but the ones that are doing on purpose you know like I would gladly show clips if that happened to me if it get if the people kick me out because I did something dead like oh he blew up our vehicle I like I'll blow up the vehicle if I have a purpose for if there's if like I can't really get the, the enemy player out of the seat or whatever, I'm gonna take shots at that guy then with anything I have. So and it might end up risk blowing up the vehicle, but it was for a purpose to do that. I ain't gonna do it just be an asshole. You know? And I really hate it with people being so demanding of like, get out of the vehicle as I'm blowing up the vehicle because I wanna drive it, and then it was just stupid. You know, like unless, you know, you know the person ain't that good of a flyer. Like me, I prefer flying Falcons in Reach. You know, and I'm a real good pilot until I hit those certain fucking freaking maps that has those boundaries that I don't really know where they are. You know, because some of them are like really too low and I'll smack into the boundary of it. It makes me mad on that, to be honest. Like, god dang these boundaries. I hate the unexpected ones where they're at, to be honest. But... But yeah, that's that's all about my life there, playing the game of, and enjoying and, and having those moments. But now for for uh, how do I say it? Now for like you know, Halo Infinite's conversation of like you know, I've been seeing people saying they rather have graphics over gameplay in store, which I don't mind them saying that you know, but I just hate when they're heavily saying it negative and then they're comparing. Halo Infinite's demo to like when it's not even the final product to be honest when it's the final product then compare it but you know but but with the demo though it's like it's still a work in progress they already admitted it was a work in progress and they and I thought you know my one video I was defending it and I said it was probably a few months old thinking it was January well thank god they at least confirmed it saying it was several weeks old so it could be like a month or two you know, but, well, several means more than a few, <laughs> so it's definitely like two or three months, but, but, how do I say this though, but I hate the fact when people's comparing the demo to other games, to like, oh, this game's way better, than, 
is not the final product. Like they're just showing you a work in progress. Because here, here's a reason here. Because you all would be mad basically if they didn't show you any gameplay footage of this game. You know, and then they're like, you should be at least glad you have a game play footage of campaign. And then, you know, and they did state they would show off bits of multiplayer, to be honest. And to be honest, when they re recently revealed these skins, I was actually kind of glad they revealed, like, hey, we're getting skins. You know, I was kind of glad because I love how the skins are in CE so far. And I can't wait to use the ones in Halo 3 when the update comes out from ODST. And it's, it's like, I wonder what new ones are going to be in there and, you know, what's going to be my favorite one out of all of them to where I'm going to select it. This is my favorite skin. Like, I don't mind skins to be added, to be honest. Like, even though I'm still a classic player, but I don't mind skins. Skins ain't really going to do anything that's game breaking. It's just, just going to add, like, a cosmetic look, you know? And it's fine. Same with vehicle skins. I don't mind if they add vehicle skins. I got a few personal favorites in CE. <laughs> uh, but, but no, I like, don't, I, I say this a lot. Don't judge the game by how it looks on its work in progress right off the bat. Like, yeah, you can give your comments and say, you know, what could look better and such. I actually did realize, and then, you know, there's people like saying, did anyone notice about the grenades being replenished? And I was thinking it was probably going to be ammo in the Warthog. I actually looked, reviewed that uh, whole uh, demo again, and I went through it slowly to where it gets to the Warthog part. I actually noticed there's actually a couple grenades because I saw the little outline that's like, you know, they're using the little outlines from Halo 5 did, apparently, except it was all blue. But in Infinite, it's all white. I hope we don't have outlines, to be honest. Uh, because that was kind of uh, annoying at times to select certain weapons. You know, and it, it, it messed me up so bad. I, I'd rather have it to where it's the original. Because like, Halo 4 didn't have it. Like, basically, from Halo 1 to 4 did not have this to where there was an outline around the weapon and and, and grenades, you know. I, I hope they remove that because that was kind of annoying nuisance and then it was so hard to select things, <laughs> to be honest, and it's just annoying, but I, I like how the original was, to be honest. But if they add it, I can understand they want to add it just to have people have, be more outlined to it, you know. But, oh well. It is what it is for right now. But, but otherwise, you know, and then there was things I saw, of like, you know, like, my, my one fan member would say, it's going to be a, a, a Roblox Halo or Minecraft Halo. Like, it's not going to be either or, to be honest. Like, to be honest, it's going to be Halo again, just, just different, you know. And, you know, those pillars, those pillars are probably going to be updated, to be honest, including the Brutes will be updated. As far as I know, I know a lot of people wants to use that Craig me 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 look. Like, you know, like they'll probably add some other details to them just before release and including for flighting. But, you know, I actually did notice this between, I actually looked at between Halo Wars because I noticed that the Halo Wars game on some of the maps and missions did use those type of pillars that Infinite's using. It's just Infinite's all blank. So I'm hoping that Infinite will at least take inspiration of Halo Wars to outline it with the blue in it, like have blue lines to it, because that was actually a really neat feature, to be honest, that I didn't notice it until I looked at it again on some of the missions of it, and I was like, oh, I noticed this now. And it's really cool, to be honest. But to an honest opinion, though, for people who want to hate the game and saying, and then, you know, I... Then there was one person that comment saying aims down sights should return in uh, in a Halo Waypoint topic. I was like, no, don't return it. Like you can return it for some of the weapons if needed, but don't return it to the almost every freaking weapon that don't have an aim down system. Meaning, no holograph sight or no scope or no guns that really needs it. Like the rocket launcher needed it uh, for all the games, you know, because it was better accuracy if you know how to predict stuff and you know and then there was uh, the Magnum for Halo 1 and Reach 
and definitely Halo 4. You know, that had a scope that didn't have a, a smart leak system. But, you know, and including ODST, I almost forgot ODST. And then it was ODST that had the uh, Silence SMG. They needed it because of the, the holographic site. You know? But what I'm saying is only include that for only certain weapons. Don't include it for every gun because it's annoying. Them. Like, unless you've got a variant that requires it, go for it. Otherwise, if it's just a standard variant, like, you know, how Halo Infinite's uh, first assault rifle is, don't include it. Like, I love wh what you guys are doing there. It's already as the Halo Reach and 4 style. I am actually a little bit more of a fan doing that instead of, like, you know, like, I am used to it doing in Halo 1 and 3 now, but including Halo ODST, but I prefer the OD, uh, I prefer the Reach and 4 style, you know. Especially 4 is, 4 is Assault Rifle was a beast that, uh, after playing it with a while. It is a beast, to be honest. But I love it, you know. And, you know, I, I, love, I love how the skins look, like I said before. I love how the skins look, black and green. It's my favorite color combo, actually, to be honest. You know, and I bet that would be a cheap and Hunter's favorite thing, uh, black and green. You know, because that is their uh, color for both Let's Play channel and uh, Achievement Hunter logos. But enough with uh, Halo Infinite. A bit. Oh, but one more note. I hope that a lot of good vehicles that are fan popular requested, like the Falcon Returns. I'd rather have the Falcon in. I, I'd, love, I'd love to have all the Unicy weapons, uh, uh, Unicy vehicles return, you know, air-wise. But if they put the Scorpion tank in, please be either Halo Reach or 4 model. Or even the anniversary of Halo 2. Don't give, don't put the Halo 5 in. I consider it as a god dang Lego block because it didn't, it looked nowhere near a Scorpion tank. Like, unless you named it as a Scorpion uh, Mark II or something like that, then that's all fine, Danny. But otherwise, please bring back the classical look. Cause I prefer the classical because it, it had more details to it. It was more better. It didn't look like no block of uh, like a Lego piece, to be honest. Including the Wraith. Like, I gotta imagine the Wraith probably gonna return to like, how Halo Wars 2 did. You know, in their own variant way of having the little red lights on it. Same with the ghost, having the classical version. But, oh well. Well, that's Halo Infinite, you know. Oh, and please, put an option in, because I know a lot of people's going to request blood being on the uh, ground, walls and such. You know, can you at least implement something that... You know, because I know you're gonna sell it. To, you're gonna sell copies to China, and China wants to keep it to rated teen because they are gonna blur out a lot. They're gonna censor a lot of stuff. They were like, I already seen General Kid's video that stated, you know, MCC com with comparing to the version we have, and then the U.S. and other countries that has this, and the uh, then the China's versions uh, to find out, like, you know, Captain Keys is. Uh, dead body it, it got severe blurred out and then it didn't show his face at all period of being punched it just showed it was still normal you know and then some other things like there and bodies would die and despawn 20,000 times quick and to where and no blood being on the walls or anything even when you melee the body or whatever but in our version they don't despawn at all really quick and shows the blood you know even after you melee so please make what Gears of War has they have an option where you can see gore and blood if you enable it but if you disable it you will not see no gore and blood at all period it's basically like how China's version is then you know it's for people that really want to see blood and gore you know, that's a popular request. And then one more popular request that should be an infinite is playable elites. Like, I already know that you're bringing elites, uh, you're bringing all the customizations back into MCC now. Like, like I'm at least glad Halo 2 Anniversary's multiplayer is getting customizations now for armor, 
because that I was actually kind of disappointed when I first got the game, uh, like a couple years ago, whatever year it was, I got it. Um, I think it was like three years ago to be honest, but I was disappointed that you know that Halo 2 Anniversary's Spartan and Elite customization was only presets. But now I'm at least glad you're all going back through each game, giving us those customization looks. And I'm actually more surprised that Halo Reach's um, Elites are going to have more customization options. So I hope for Infinite Elites return to Infinite and give us a crap ton of customization as well. Like I already know General Kid's probably going to be go uh, not General Kid uh Hidden Xperia is probably going to go with the look of like the new Elite to be honest. <laughs> Because I was actually surprised when I saw the concept art of Halo Infinite's Elite that we're going to be fighting against. I forgot his name now. But with that mechanical arm. Ooh, just like that little Reach vibe right there. Ooh, man. Like, this brings me back a lot about Cat. And like, this is going to be interesting. I wonder how this fight's going to be. But, yeah, enough about Halo Infinite. Now let me go talk about the uh, what I think about all the Halo games. You know? So, to like every game. To with mod support. So with Halo, Halo games, you know, and how popular a lot of people loves the game, and including me, I'm an old fan of it. There is games that are implementing mods for the game for that from Halo, actually, to be honest, to other games. Like one of them I'm playing now, which is you know XCOM 2. I've been doing content now of that off my PC. Um, I've been playing that because I love Halo, and you know I love Halo to be in a certain games like a turn-based strategy game maybe, and you know it'd be nice if there was a way I can make like you know probably turn Advent Forces to uh, you know maybe other games like uh, Star Wars. Have like a Halo versus Star Wars. There's times I pref I want to see how that would be to be honest, and uh, then there's like. Uh, and I've been recreating like fire teams, and then I try to make my own teams with all these other games from Halo. Like I actually did some videos of this, like being using Halo 3 ODST police. I don't give a crap if you all say cut the word police out because you all hate the police because you want to defund the police. Hell no, not doing that. I don't give a shit if you all hate the police. You all want to defund them. I'm surprised you all crying for them to protect you, to be honest. And you want to defund them. To, so they could protect you because you want them to protect you when you're defunding them and you have problems against the police but uh, no I, I have it straight up saying police honored vests of the whole that's how it was in ODST their, their whole thing was saying police so I'm like okay put them on a mission and then it got uh, Halo 3 Marines like, I use, like, any bits of cosmetic looks and such to make them like a marine. Oof. It has, has so much good vibe to it. And same with Reach. Reach has a ton of marine customization. Same with ODST. Holy crap. I even recreated ODST's buck and his team from ODST. And then I went and recreate a couple, uh, a few fire teams of Spartans. Being, like, Red Team. And I made the versions of Master Chief throughout the whole series from CE using Halo 4's uh, armor pieces there of it because apparently there was no original of it so I was like oh well it's better than nothing it's close and Halo 3 style of the original and then of course the modified version of Halo uh, Halo's chief version of you know 343's campaign version and then I got Rise of the Spartans good machinima like I said before then I made my fire team actually, it's still work in progress, so I'm in supporting like certain uh, units with the, the fire team just to help them out. And then we got other mods that are that has like makes it with a Halo immersion, like Fallout 4 has Halo stuff in it. And since Xbox is supporting it, like, yeah, of course a lot of Halo weapons ain't gonna have the ammo counter exactly. PC version apparently has it. But you know, and, and I love playing it. I love playing as the Master Chief look. I used, I'll rock the mark. I'll be using the either the original look, well, if I only have a choice between those two, of either the CE look 
or the Halo 5 look, I went with a CE look because I was more of a classic. So, and I'll rock with a lot of Halo weapons to be honest. Woo wee! It's just good. It, it just has a better feel. It's like, hey, this is a Halo guy playing. This is a Spartan guy playing. Like, it could be the ancient Spartan or it could be the Halo Spartan playing the, uh, playing Fallout. To, and then, heck, there's even actually building props actually to make it like a UNSC base. So there was a couple times I made a UNSC base. I just never recorded it, you know? But, and then there's other games like the one game I haven't been recording lately and that was, uh, Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion. That's a good mod in there called Sins of the Prophets, which Sins of the Solar Empire is basically an RTS game like how Halo Wars is, except it's starships, you know? And it has many planets. There's like so many planets. You could rename a lot of planets and probably make it like, you could even redo like, you know, maybe the Fall of Reach, the last defense of Earth, whatever. Too bad there's like, they don't have like a game where, you know, you can have ships being inside the planet. You know, like, being on the atmosphere, like, Earth, uh, the shield worlds and such, but there's a lot of good stuff in that game, and there's a lot of good tactics and such, and I kind of hate how the update is now in that game, where, like, like, the Gravemind ship, if you enable Flood, Flood Survival on, is still kind of OP, but just kind of a little toned down, but still OP, but it's real fun to play. You know, and you, ha you can have good Covenant versus UNSC battles, etc., it's still good but then you got you know there's other games you got there are mods um, in it like uh, that's from a different game that makes it so good but then you got games that you know 343 partnered with kinda and that's being like Forza Horizon the Warthogs are really good I, I love using the Warthog in Forza Horizon 4, to be honest. It's really good. I love it. Especially their little Warthog run. I actually recreated. Like, I redone the video of it, and I took out the Halo 5 music, and I put the classical music in there, being the classic Halo 3 Warthog run. And it turned out really good. To be honest. And then we got Gears of War 5, where, you know, you got, they only gave two Spartans to them for multiplayer use and oh my god I'll be rocking it with them oh my god they're so good I love playing cat in horde mode I love playing the meal in both normal matchmaking of multiplayer and the escape mode because how good they are you know including their perk cards and there's there's some other games that 343 has partnered up with I believe to give them some Halo content, but but now for mods that are within the game itself, 